The GoPro Hero 9 makes time warps once more easier to take because it has now the horizon leveling feature which helps you so much when taking advanced hyperlapses with additional camera movements. The tilt down time warp is one of my favorite time warp camera movements because it makes the footage look really cinematic through this additional tilt down move. This time warp is not very easy to take because you have to tilt your camera down very slowly. I was shooting this time warp with the 30x speed setting and with this one you have to shoot for several minutes to only get a few seconds of time warp. And that also means that your additional tilt down camera movement has to happen over minutes and it's really hard to move your GoPro Hero 9 that slow. But now with the horizon leveling feature you can at least focus yourself completely on the tilt down movement and you don't have to balance your camera anymore to keep everything level. Then another feature only the GoPro Hero 9 has is the audio we get while shooting time warps. On the GoPro Hero 8 we already had the stop and go feature but we didn't get any audio. And now the audio you are actually hearing comes directly from my GoPro and not the studio and I think this smooth transition definitely deserves a subscription from you. So hit that subscribe button and then back to the studio. So having audio on time warps is an amazing new feature for all travel filmmakers and vloggers and you can get really creative with it as you just saw. But this is not the only new thing the Timer 3.0 brings us. There is now new on the GoPro Hero 90 stop and go feature with slow motion. Unfortunately this feature is only available in 1080p so I probably won't use it that often but I'm sure there will be situations in the future where it could be very helpful. So now that I have shown you quickly the two new features, let's head over to some more camera movements which will bring your time warps to the next level. GoPro includes curved time warps often in their promotional videos because they just look so amazing. Those kind of time warps are difficult to take because you need to walk very slowly and in a nice curve for a few minutes without being interrupted by all the people on the street. But if you manage to get a great shot, then your time warp will just look insane. But often the time warps don't turn out as great as you wanted them to be, mainly because you probably had to stop them too early because of all the people or there was a shake in it. But those failed time warps can be used for a cool effect, you just have to edit them differently. So don't delete them. I am sure you have heard of the boomerang feature of Instagram and that's exactly what you should use your time warps for in case they turned out too short. Just take your time warp, duplicate the clip and play the second clip backwards. Like that you get a really cool boomerang effect and with this trick you can also make use of your failed time warps. And in case you want to try this trick out, make sure to tag me on Instagram, I'm going to repost some of the best boomerang time warps. So now after showing you some difficult but really cool time warps, I want to show you two easy ones to take but they are as amazing as the previous ones. The first one is a normal straight time warp and I do recommend you to take this one with a chest mount so you can really focus on moving slowly and in a straight line and you don't have to concentrate on holding your GoPro Hero 9 always in the same height. Important for this kind of time warp is the location. I really like to walk with this time warp set up through tunnels or any similar places because I think it looks cool if you start your time warp somewhere in the outside and then you walk into something. And the second simple time warp I want to show you also depends on the location where you're shooting but it's even easier to get than the previous one. But before I highly recommend you to check out my free 45 minutes GoPro filmmaking training. In this training I'm teaching you very detailed my top 10 secrets to make cinematic GoPro videos and I promise you after watching this training you will be able to directly level up your GoPro videos or actually in general your videos no matter which camera you are using. 
The link is in the description. Just click on the Action Cam Masterclass link and there you will directly see how to watch the free training. So now you want to shoot with the auto setting and go to a place where you don't have to move because you move automatically like in a train, car or this little thing where I took my time warp. Then right before the movement ends you click either on your screen to shoot in normal speed or on your mode button. Like that you get a nice time warp to normal speed speed ramp and that looks very cinematic in my opinion if you are able to shoot this kind of time warp at the right place. So that's it for today, see you in a free training or this Wednesday again on YouTube with a very special video.